Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings set resolution scale normalized? So we're going to go ahead and look at the node. Then we'll look at how it works, and then we'll look at the node again. So the node is pretty simple. If we pull off our game user settings, which every game user settings is pretty much going to require, and we type in normalized, we'll find the set resolution scale normalized. You'll notice there is no getter, and I'll cover that in a second. So the set resolution scale normalized basically takes in a value between 0 and 1, your normalized value, 0% and 100% and sets the resolution scale for the renderer to that value. Now, what's the resolution scale? Well, if you've seen the other video, you may understand what it is. If not, let's try to cover it in more detail by running our example. We'll run our example, and we're looking at a 1280 by 720 window, 50% for our resolution, and then 60 frames per second. The only thing that really matters here is our 3D resolution bar. Now you may be looking at our character here. Let's maximize it, make it a little easier. And he looks a little weird. He's a little blurry and he's not easy to see. That's because I'm rendering internally at a different resolution for performance. What do I mean by that? Well, 1280 by 720 is what I have here. Let's go to our settings file and let's pull it up and let's actually look at what we're doing with it. What we're doing is outputting a 1280 by 720 window, our game itself is running at 1280 by 720. But internally, everything is being rendered at 640 by 360, which if you do the math is 50%. So we're rendering at a 50% scale in order to get better performance. Now in terms of the, our slider bar here and our setter, remember we said between 0 and 1, or 0 and 100%. If we were to look at our node itself, there is values internally based on the resolution that will tell it, okay, your max scale value is going to be this value, which is normally going to be the maximum of the resolution you're running at, basically. So if I was running at 1,000 by 1,000, my max scale value will probably be 1,000 by 1,000. My min scale value, however, is going to be based on the resolution. Internally, the engine has a minimum that it's going to render at. It's not going to render like a 2x2 two two window into your game. It's probably a something somewhere around, you know, a 300x300 300 300 or something like that. I don't know, to be honest. But it has a minimum. Based on your current resolution, let's say we run this. Let's say we run it at 1280 by 720 50% to 100% is our slider value. However, if I run the game at 1920 by 1080 I now have 100% to 33% as my slider value. Now the normalized node is good because if you notice here, my slider value is going to be accurate. All the way to the end will be 100%. All the way to the bottom will be my minimum percentage. Keep in mind I'm not doing any of the fancy schmancy error checking, bounce checking, and making sure it's a good workable example. I'm just making it work to show you how things work. So 33 is my minimum. 100 is my max based on a 0 to 1 scale. Or in this case, if I drop the resolution, 100 is my max and 50 is my minimum on my 0 to 1 scale. So the nice thing about this node is it takes in a 0 to 1 and sliders are 0 to 1, so you can pipe your float right into it. In terms of how, how it works, in terms of looking, if you notice I have it at 100%, I have nice smooth edges. If I drop this to 50% and apply, I now have blurry edges. Again, it's rendering internally at a low resolution, so things will perform better, but look worse. It's a good way to get performance out of lower end machines. But that's what our set resolution scale normalized node does. It is like our set resolution scale value node, which is right here, but the scale value takes in literally a minimum to 100 value, a 0 to 100 or 50 to 100, or 75 to 100, 33 to 100, whatever our minimum is to our maximum, which will be 100. The normalized version basically takes a 0 to 1, so a 0 0.1 would be 10%, 0 0.9 would be 90%, but it's a normalized range 
between the minimum value and the maximum value, which the game knows internally. Now remember I said there was no Git node? Well, that's because there's one node that covers it all, the Git Resolution Scale Information node, which is covered in its own video. And by using this, you can actually get what the minimum scale value will be and the maximum scale value and get things like the current scale normalized, which is the opposite of setting it normalized, and the current scale value, which is the opposite of setting the scale value. That's going to wrap up our video. If you get a little bit confused on this one, the easiest way to think of it is Unreal handles a lot of things for you when you're using blueprints. Once you've set your resolution in your game, if you wish to allow your player to adjust the quality of it in terms for performance, the quality performance trade-off, you can allow them to use a resolution scale normalized node. Just feed it into a slider like I have here. It's really simple. And it's going to automatically work out between 0 and 1 what it should be. And by using the current scale value, you can get the percentage to give to your player.